Good morning, everyone. I'm Steve Hoffaker. Thanks for joining us today for uh, one of the uh, webinars that we're providing. This is a uh, free webinar, part of our series. Uh, we're pleased to have Sugasuni uh, kick this one off for us today. We have a very informative program. Those of you who have been in my CAPS classes before have seen references, particularly in the CAPS too, to some of their hardware. Well, they're gonna show you that and a whole lot more. I think it's gonna be a very informative session for you. Uh, we're going to uh, have a couple of times during the program where you can ask questions. You can certainly put them in the chat box. May not be able to get to all of them. We have over 70 people registered for today's class. Some are planning on doing the uh, uh, recorded version because of conflicts that they have in their schedule. And we should have other people joining us. But with that, I am going to uh, turn this over to uh, Chicago, and uh, we have Curtis Nakamura and uh, Keith Al, who are going to be with us in the, the Chicago showroom of Sugasuni. So take it away, guys. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining. Uh, I do want to uh, say a special thank you to Steve for giving this opportunity so we can spend some time today with you explaining the background about our company, Sugatsune, and also uh, spend some time to show you how universal design principles are actually inherent in a lot of our product development DNA. Now, the mission for the company is to create convenience and satisfaction for people. And when we talk about people, that word was chosen on purpose because we didn't want to only speak to only customers. We really wanted to speak to everybody, including our internal associates, as well as people that were in our distribution channels, et cetera. So it really is to create products that serve all people. Now, before we get too far into the fun stuff, I did want to take some time to make sure everyone was comfortable with pronouncing our name. Um, I know it's difficult for a lot of people, and we've heard all kinds from uh, Sugatsune to Sugar Tunes. Uh, we had people call in asking if they, they pronounced it Circuit City of all things. So I get it, and, and we want to make it easy for everybody to uh, say it. And I think the easiest way is if we break it down. So it's really uh, Sue, Got, Sue, Ne. And then the only thing you have to worry about or remember is that the last vowel is a short vowel. Now, Sugatsune was founded in 1930 by Tsune Saburo Sugasawara. Now, that's a tongue twister. Um, I, I'm assuming, or I imagine that uh, his name was a little bit more difficult to call Sugasawara hardware as it was for Mr. And Mr. Uh, for Mr. Honda or Mr. Toyota to name their brands. But in all seriousness, it, it was suggested to him by a friend that he make a play on his first and last name, which he landed on, and that's how he came up with Sugatsune. Now, Sugatsune America is AS9120 certified and ISO 9001. Uh, this means to us that we are, have the quality processes and procedures that we're certified to supply component hardware to the aerospace industry. What it means for you is that those same quality processes and procedures carry over to every industry that we serve. And therefore you can be assured that the products that you receive or that you specify have the same quality level of things that would be in an airplane. So, so we also have a number of branded terms. Uh, one that I wanted to talk about was LAMP. And the interesting story behind this is Mr. Sugasawara, when he uh, started working on developing hardware after the war, he worked by oil lamp. And this lamp served as his inspiration as he was designing new products. And he wanted to be able to provide to people that use his products that same inspiration. And so he decided to call all of his products lamp. I think some of you who are familiar with our hardware have seen that stamped on or etched into our products. And if you do see it, that would be a Sugatsune product. Now, Sugatsune is a global company. We are in eight different countries. I'm sorry, seven different countries, but with eight offices, we have two in China. Uh, Canada was our latest one that we launched back in uh, 2017. Now, Sugatsune is an engineering company, and we have over 10,000 patents. Uh, we also launch about 20 to 30 new products in the US uh, every year. And in fact, out of about 600 employees that we have, 150 associates are dedicated specifically to research and development. And their task is really to create these new and unique products that we launch year after year. And one example that we have 
is the PXB hook. Uh, something that's very unique, it actually uses a silicon cover, but I wanted to show that even the, some of the innovations that we have are very simple. It starts with a good solid base material. This is a uh, stainless steel base and a silicon rubber that goes over it. Now, most of our customers right now are nurseries, um, hospitals and things of that nature. So the hook's not gonna see the light of day, but the company wanted to utilize the stainless steel because it was the most durable, long lasting material. And the one small thing to point out with this, if you see when you put the cover on, it was designed so that the stainless steel doesn't go all the way to the end. So if it's on the wall, someone runs into it, it provided extra cushion. The reason I'm bringing that up is I think that those are the small details that the company really concentrates on when they develop new products. From the beginning, Mr. Sugasawara made it a point to study how people interacted with um, their daily tasks. He loved finding things that he struggled with. And one more product to show. Sorry, I'm making Fernando work today. Is this small hook, which is a, a common uh, cup hook or wire hook. And what he saw was people interacting at a, at a restaurant with their garments. And hooks back then typically had a just a wire, um, a metal wire with a point. He saw people getting his garments caught on the hook itself. So he went out and researched different methods to find a way to actually come up with a, uh, a wire that he could spin to create the ball at the very end. That ball is now very common in all of the hooks. And it was Mr. Sugasawara's innovation that really mm -hmm. led the industry in that direction. This in fact started back in maybe the early 30s and uh, it's still one of our most popular products today. Now, because we focus on customers in the US, I know we've, we ourselves had a lot of discussions and with our engineers about ADA compliancy and how do we make it more accessible. And as you guys are probably more familiar than me, the American Disabilities Act when it comes to hardware is not so vast, right? There's a couple things that are very specific, the less than five pounds opening force for door closers and products of that nature. There are certain speeds that it needs to close at right, given a certain angle. For handles, and I'll read this um, so I don't get it wrong, but must be able to operate without twisting the wrists, grasping or pinching with fingers. For our engineers, when we had those discussions, it was a little bit vague. Uh, for them because they were more interested in, okay, if that's the case, how much space does it need to have between the wall or the, the door itself and the, the handle to, to fit? What's the common size of everybody's hands? And of course, we all know that the ADA isn't that specific for hardware. Fortunately, I've had many discussions with Steve about how do we approach this? And he, he did remind me that the ADA standards really only applies, number one, to commercial application. But if there are too many standards and too many rules that are very specific. It actually could limit the ability for designers to design spaces that meet a wide range of needs for a vast number of different individuals. When I participated in a living in a place conference not too long ago up in Canada, it, uh, there was a statement that I heard that really resonated and stuck with me. And it was that we're only temporarily able. Now, growing up in sports, uh, I had my share of casts crutches, braces. Um, I've hosted my parents. I've even nursed uh, one of them in my home. Uh, my wife had three pregnancies and my daughter, she's short. Uh, please don't ever let her, and no one here ever let her know I said that. She'll be pretty upset. But when I took a step back and really reflected on how I myself are watching them navigate through their daily lives around the house, it really became clear and evident why universal design was so important. Now, I'm gonna read this again too, because I didn't write this, but universal design is the design and composition of an environment so that it can be accessed, understood, and used to the greatest extent possible by all people, regardless of age, size, ability, or disability. Now, what's rewarding for me personally, when I came on board with Suyatsune, I found that it really was a company with, at its core, was centered around developing products around good design. From our founder and continuing to our engineers today, they understand that the end game is to create designs that will bring satisfaction and more importantly, convenience to society. At the end of the day, 
it's really all about engineering products focused on good design to create lifelong solutions for all people. Now, an example that we have, and you'll see a lot of the products when we go through the demonstrations, is a concept that we call motion design tech. It's actually a trademark um, of ours. And it re represents a, a range of products uh, developed around good ergonomics, ease of use, and safety. It was first introduced on products designed for manufacturing facilities, hospitals, and heavy machinery. But the core concept was really established as a baseline for all products that were to be created. And our engineers are spending a lot more time now incorporating these new technologies into developing products for the home. <clears throat> now, the Motion Design Tech, actually our current CEO, developed this as a guiding principle for the design teams to really direct them on the types of products they, they should be bringing out. And they wanted to make sure that Sukutsuni's values to society were all encompassing in the products that they were uh, starting to design. Motion Design Tech stands for New Motions Designed with Technology, and it's from which that concept that the engineers follow and are constantly challenged to make sure that there's innovation and unique designs that help facilitate people's lives. From our side, the most important thing is unique, convenient, and safe. And simply put, Motion Design Tech are built with one or more of the following um, product movements that you see on screen. Uh, the first one being soft motion, or better known as soft close. Free stop, which uses torque technology, which holds things in any position. A uh, good example of that would be the cover of your laptops. Power assist was designed or is a concept to help people safely perform tasks. Click motion, similar to free stop, but it uses gearing or detents that actually hold things at a particular angle. And unique motions, which we're the most proud of, and you'll see a lot of this today, is new ways to actually access spaces. Now, and you factor in adjustability, easy installation, motion design tech are products that are geared to provide an enjoyable experience for all people. Now, motion design tech really got its start going back, uh, I believe in the 80s, and we introduced soft clothes. Many of you who aren't familiar with Sugitsune may have already come across our, our products as we designed a rotary damper with Toto that were used for the world's first soft closing toilet seat. Now from that success, we actually expanded and the company went into a concept called the quiet home. And from that, they found ways to damper drawers and cabinets and, and things of that nature. And now if you look at today, soft clothes in the kitchen is really the cost of entry for any mid-level or high level design. Now we've expanded motion design tech, as you can see on screen into countertops, other, you know, for small space solutions, as well as in products and food merchandising and fixtures. And all of this MDT is really related to universal design as we start introducing new concepts to make it easier, safe and convenient for people to interact with things. Now, how does motion design tech really relate to universal design? Well, let's take a little bit of an example before we look at specific hardware. If you take, for example, a traditional swing door, it creates convenience for our inconveniences for those on crutches or in a wheelchair. Uh, a good option would be installing a pocket or sliding door. And when you look at that, it, it's much easier to navigate as well as it saves space. You'll see a few examples of our lateral door opening system, which is Sugatsune's pat patented system. This was also developed similar to sliding doors as an alternative to save space provide more convenience and easier accessibility. Now in the kitchen or in any, well, mostly in the kitchen, if you do have a disability or if you have your hands full, uh, push to open latches are a great way to provide convenient access into drawers and cabinets and drawer, uh, into doors and still maintain perfect balance and have a modern clean appearance. Lid supports, especially those, in, and we'll show you this with the lift assist technologies that we've in, in, um, come up with, requires less force to operate. And of course, we all would love better looking handles. I mean, uh, when you compare alternatives to what's out there that are actual ADA compliant handles, uh, having alternatives to that look for a more streamlined design is probably very important to most designers out there. And to show you some of the products in action, I do uh, want to welcome Keith Au, our national sales manager, Sugatsune America. Good 
Good morning, and thank you, Curtis, and thank you, Steve, for giving us this opportunity to share how our company contributes to the universal design community. And we're excited, I'm most excited, I get the fun part of the presentation, really to share how our technology and our engineering capabilities are manufactured into hardware solutions that solves people's problems no matter what industry you're in. Currently, we're working with engineers, designers, architects in various industries uh, from the medical industry, hospitality, and retail fixtures, just to name a few. Um, as they incorporate our soft close technology, it really provides uh, an elegant feel, uh, as well as you get stress and safety you know, characteristics no matter what environment you're in. Incorporating our lift assist technology is often used in manufacturing plants uh, and fast paced environments to help reduce work fatigue. Now there's much more, but today we're gonna focus in on how you have access to all these benefits as you're designing your own uh, projects and your own homes. Um, you can use all this again to reduce fatigue and make it a more comfortable living situation. Before we get started and we get into the kitchen, we did wanna share a demonstration here to show exactly how our technology translates directly into convenience. Oh, sorry, one moment, please. And we're back, sorry about that. Um, so showing here, we have two identical enclosures. Both of these enclosures have lids that weigh 14 pounds. Using a pull force gauge, I'm going to turn this on now. Using a pull force gauge, I'm gonna pull on this door and this door has free swinging hinges, meaning that I have to use all of my strength to open and close this door, which requires six pounds of pull force all the way up to the fully open position. This enclosure here to the right, we have, have installed one of our lift assist hinges. And what this does, and what it does as far as convenience is, actually about only one pound of force, force is required just to get this door started to open. Then you can see our lift assist technology starts to kick in and this door becomes weightless. This is extremely important when you have in a workplace, you're constantly opening and closing doors. This will reduce that work fatigue. And we'll explain a little bit how you could utilize this type of technology in your homes. I do wanna start off by introducing one of our newest products. And this is a great representation of our motion design tech concept. Our aileron system consists of two basic components. Uh, we, first, you have the arm, which this provides you a lift assist feature. It's fully adjustable just by using your standard P2 screwdriver. You have a one to five range of lift assist strength adjustment. And in our, this is a new hinge that we just released. This offers a five stage soft close simply with a rocker switch that's mounted on the side of the hinge. And we're gonna show you an installation of this aileron system in our kitchen cabinet. Now, typically, you would use top opening cabinets for your upper cabinets. Um, this is a great solution so that doors stay out of the way. You can leave them open and you won't run into them. There was two features that you might've seen me use and show you already. The first one is our free stop motion. The free stop motion is important and our engineers to design this in. So if you're ever in a situation where you do not need the door to fully open to the 90 degrees, the door will stay open just enough for you to reach whatever contents you might need, say a mug. But of course, for those who do want the door to stay open to the 90 degrees so you can access the entire cabinet, you could also do so. Additionally, it has a soft close feature and you can go in here and you could adjust the lift assist and the soft close very easily. This shows our aileron system with both the arm and the hinge combined. But you can use just our Olympia hinges on your traditional swinging doors. I'm going to show, I adjusted it to the lightest and it slams. I did want to demonstrate how easy it is just to go in here and make a couple adjustments. And now you can see the door grabs and it'll softly close on its own. There's a very wide range of adjustments that you can make so it feels most comfortable for each person. As a fun, fun project, what we did was we, we utilized one of our torque hinges. 
torque hinges give you the ability to position any kind of panel um, or door in any position you like without it slamming down. And what this was uh, intended for us to do is for those who are not able to reach up into your up ca upper cabinets, this gives you a couple extra inches to be able to reach your contents. Okay. Then again, as I mentioned, there's a torque hinge. So the lid will not slam down and you can put it into place whenever you're, you're finished. We have a wide range of torque hinges. Uh, just wanted to show a couple of fun ideas uh, for this particular industry. We have different types where you can mount them in different positions. We have different torque strengths depending on the size of your lid or panel. But the one that's most fun for this industry is our two-way uh, torque hinge. And what this gives you the ability to do is have torque in both the swivel as well as the tilt. So as an example, if you have a cookbook or a tablet while you're cooking in the kitchen, you can position your recipe as most convenient as, as it is for you and for your height. So these are, this is our line of torque hinges. For your mid-height cabinets, we do have the open to 90 degrees, um, but what's very unique to the industry is that our OV system will pocket into the cabinet. It pockets into the cabinet, so if you're walking back and forth again during while you're cooking, it stays out of the way. And this is a great solution if you keep your ingredients, such as your flour, your sugar, salt and pepper. You can leave your door open while you're running around cooking. And uh, when it's time to eat, go ahead and close this. And what would a system be without soft close? Again, reducing the chance of you slamming fingers. Now, corner cabinets. This is probably one of the biggest challenge in terms of maximizing your interior usable space. We have a few systems in this line. What you see here is our Lynx 450. I'm sure a lot of you probably haven't seen a door open quite like this. I have another one on this side, which I'm going to show you, which opens up to the left. And you can see that these doors open laterally. So first of all, they open laterally and out of the way so I can access every inch inside of my corner cabinet. Additionally, these doors open and swing to the adjacent cabinet. It won't scratch any of the cabinets or any of the appliances that you might have next to your corner cabinet. And the other great thing about this system is these, this door is 25 and a half inches wide in addition to our hinge. So if you're using any kind of device for balance or support, for a door this wide, 25 and a half inches, I would need to take a step back if I wanted to get gain access into this door. Utilizing our lateral door system, our links, you can see the radius is reduced in less than half the space needed in order to access your cabin. So I'll go ahead and close our standard swinging hinge and I'll demonstrate again that I can stand next to the cabinet and I can open and close it. <laughs> All of these products have soft close features, um, as well as it only requires about five to six pounds of pull force using our pull force gauge uh, in order to open this door. That's less than your typical refrigerator. And we did measure that. Um, that does depend on the size of the door. What we're showing you here are doors that are about 25 inches wide, but you can go up to doors that are 94 and a half inches tall as well. There's a lot of great solutions in the marketplace for your lateral opening doors that go upward. This is a great solution, again, for if you're in a fast paced environment, you don't, you're limited with your space in front of your cabinets. But what I can truly say that no other manufacturer has and has developed is our SLD lateral down system. And our engineers did a great job designing this because what it does, it, it gives you access to whatever contents are inside of the cabinet. and you just get the door started and it'll automatically close on its own. This is our SLD product. Now for your hands-free uh, type of cabinets, we also have a wide range of push to open, push to close latches. And even some of our hinges have this sw swing open ability so it helps swing the door open if you choose. 
You can mount this on your base cabinets. Uh, we've done a few th fun things where we mount kitchen island. As you can see here. So you can use your knee. Um, if you have a taller cabinet, you could also use your elbows. If your hands are full, it's a very convenient way to open and close and gain access into your cabinet. Okay. Uh, we can open this up and have some fun. Uh, does anybody have any questions while we're uh, in the kitchen? If anybody wants to put a question in the chat box, we can come back to it. I would say, uh, Keith, just keep going. You're doing great. Yeah, such the such a slide. Okay, just a, as a quick recap uh, for the kitchen, our products they can add an extra level of comfort while you're navigating around your kitchens with our unique opening and closing motions. And it really makes it convenient with our lift assist and soft close features in your cabinets, really to access any kind of dishes, cooking supplies and ingredients, really anything you have in your kitchen. So welcome to our living room area. Um, sliding doors, they're a great solution when you have limited space. You really don't have to worry about the radius of a door swinging and opening up into furniture or into people. And there are several ways to install sliding door systems. What we're showing here is a wall mounted or barn door style sliding door system where you can, it's very simple. You just mount it to the side of the wall if you have space. And specifically, there's two features that we wanna show with this system. The first one is if you have a wide opening, our synchronized system makes a very efficient way to open and close your doors with one single motion. So you can stand on one side of your, of your doorway and you can open and close and gain access to whatever else might be in the other room. Secondly, you might've seen, we have soft close in both the opening as well as the closing motions. And what's also great about this system is this only requires anywhere about five to six pounds of pull force uh, in order to uh, get the door started swinging, again, either opened or closed. So you could use your elbows, you could use your knees if you needed to get this door started. Now, if you do have the ability to di design in and build pocket doors, we really we highly recommend this option. With pocket doors, they're completely hidden when they're in the fully open position. However, one of the biggest headaches with pocket doors, and if you talk to any contractor, um, you know they're gonna actually try to persuade you not to install a pocket door. The reason why is if there is ever any maintenance issues, you know maybe two or two to five years down the road, the contractor would need to come in and they would need to cut open the wall, access the track as well as all the hardware. Um, so that would become costly. Um, and you know that would take some time and uh, cause a mess. With our FD80 pocket door system, our engineers wanted to create a more convenient way to install pocket doors. Uh, we're not showing this here, but if you, if you have more questions, please let us know. Uh, but what our engineers, added as a feature is you can access all of our hardware from the rollers to the soft close mechanisms from the open side of the pocket. And we call it no more headaches. It's very simple and easy to access all, and install all this hardware. In terms of handles for sliding doors, we do have quite a wide range of sliding door handles. We have different depths, different heights, depending on what's most suitable for you or your customer and the design requirements. And we are now offering these in a matte black finish, which is very, a very popular trend right now. We have a few here that I'll walk up to the camera to demonstrate. So as, as we mentioned earlier, and we showed you on the screen, we have different shapes. Uh, we have a half circle and more of a square type here. And it's very easy to um, open and close. And we have other versions that are taller as well as deeper so that if you needed to use your elbow to open or close the door, it gives you enough uh, access space to be able to accomplish that. We also have a nice range of door handles. And what's nice about our door handles for your traditional swinging doors and sliding doors 
is the large projections that we have. So you can reach behind the handle. You can get a nice, good grip on the handle if you need to either pull, push, or you need to slide your door open or closed. Now, as we're walking through the living room, a lot of our customers have utilized our lateral door system that we showed in the, in the kitchen, that we showed in the kitchen. Um, this is a great solution. So you can leave your doors open and you can walk back and forth uh, between your, your living room. Also, if you're designing a nice cabinet and you have nice finishes on your cabinets, they're always shown through the front. This unique system always keeps the front of your door forward so that you can see the nice designs that you all have designed and paid for. Any questions for the living room? Keep going. Slide. Okay, great. Well, just to wrap up the living room, we have soft close and sliding doors that really reduces accidentally slamming fingers, and it really allows you to maximize your usable space. We have a ver variety of handle designs that are suitable for any type of need that you or your customer might have. Well, onto our closet area. Uh, I just walked in through one of our doors. This, this door weighs about 200 pounds, and it's utilizing one of our HES 3D hinges. Not to go into too much detail, but the purpose of this hinge and the value of this hinge is if you're looking for that minimalistic hardware, that's a very common and, and trendy design nowadays. You don't see any hardware for, for the hinges as you would typically see a hinge pin for your normal hinges. Now our hinges, they can support up to 275 pounds. They open up to 180 degrees. And in order for our engineers to accomplish that, they designed a seven arm link system so that you get smooth and a light feeling with the doors. We've also installed our LDD door closer. And what this does, it grabs the door and it softly closes, it closes on its own. That's a common trend uh, that you know, we try to share with our motion design technology. A lot of our products have that soft close to create that convenience uh, and safety in your workplace. Now, my favorite product is our new LADH system. We're not gonna get into much detail about this. I just wanted to show it. Uh, if you have any questions about this soft close bar topper, please let us know. What I would like to focus on is our folding brackets. Now, there's a lot of great reasons to install folding brackets. One of the things Curtis mentioned was having an open floor plan is very important. So this is our folding bracket. And again, as I mentioned, it can be used in a lot of different applications. As a couple examples, as to say you're in your garage, you're coming home and you have a lot of groceries in your hand, you wanna make sure that you can fit your groceries down by the door. Um, you might have a laundry room and you need some extra space to fold your laundry. Um, a lot of people like to use these as workbenches. And what everyone's so familiar with, you might need a tabletop while you're working from home. There's a lot of great features with our line of folding brackets. The first one is they're made out of 304 stainless steel. And this means that you can use them outdoors and they're corrosion resistant. We did show the soft close mechanism in here, as well as our latest feature, which is a one-handed lever system. So you can release and operate this door with one hand. There are other folding brackets out there on the market. However, those manufacturers don't have all these key features that we presented to you today. However, if you do have a folding bracket from another manufacturer installed, our engineers do have this mechanism called the EBD, and you can retrofit this right with any kind of folding bracket, and this will provide that nice soft close for you. Now, as far as lateral door systems, we showed you two applications. One of them was for corner cabinets and kitchens and the other was in a living room setting for an entertainment center. But if you're in an area where you might be in a hallway and you have limited space, or um, you could think of it, you're in a hallway and you have maybe a laundry room with your washer and dryer, but you wouldn't want a door to swing open and take up all the space. It would be 
And that is convenient to open and close that door. Our Lynx 1000 is the largest lateral door system that we have. This system can support up to 200 pound doors. And this specific door is 43 inches, which is the maximum that it will support. Again, the key idea with this is if you are using those devices for support and balance, I do not need to take a full step back or any steps back to open or close this door. We offer this in two finishes. And what you see here, this is the black version. We also have it available in a white. And as we started, we talked about the aileron system. The aileron system provides a lift assist as well as a soft close in your upper cabinets. In that series, we also offer it in a toy box application or a top opening. This has the free stop, as I mentioned earlier, and it'll hold the door open in a fully open 90 degree angle. This is great. Uh, a lot of people are building toy chests for children. Um, you can think about mud rooms um, or even the, the benches at the end of your bedroom. This has the lift assist, so it's very light to open and close, and as well as the soft close to avoid any type of slamming or pinching of fingers. So small spaces, they really require minimalistic and efficient hardware. Our motion design technology really allows you to maximize your usable space using, using any of our products. And um, I think we can go to question, questions. Curtis, did you have anything you wanted to jump back in here? Or... Oh, there you are. You're both together. Okay. All right. Anybody? Oh, here we have a question coming in. Let's see. Uh, do you have a catalog you send out? I see you're holding one right there. So that was a nice segue. So there you go. <laughs> How does someone get your catalog or get on your mailing list or access your, your material? And uh, I know you, you think you were going to make a, a special offer to everyone. So tell us about that. Yeah, so I, I think our mic is on. I apologize for that. Okay. Um, yeah, so if, um, if you, anybody has any questions about our products, feel free to reach out to our team. Uh, we have our catalog that we would be happy to send to everybody here. Uh, we have a great website. Um, and through the website, there's links on where to buy our products from our distributors. And we have distributors throughout the US. Um, they're in every state. Uh, we have an, a good customer service line. So if you have any questions, we have an inside sales team, outside sales team, as well as some engineers on staff. So if you have any drawings or blueprints that you're uh, not completely confident with maybe specifying one of our products, we're here to support you with those projects. And, and one thing that just a plug for our inside sales team, uh, we guarantee when you call in, you'll get no automated menus. We do have live people answering, so they can work with you on your individual project. Um, also on the website, which is www.sugatsune.com, uh, you can go ahead and, like he said, find any of the resources, uh, but also uh, fill out any contact forms if you need any additional information. Uh, our 800 line is also on the website itself. And if you're looking for a place to purchase, because we do sell through distribution channels and, and other uh, wholesalers, uh, we have a list of state-by-state uh, -state and by zip code of every place that you can have access to our products. Uh, someone, uh, I think, had answered uh, Jane's question about uh, selling to high-end cabinet manufacturers or deals. I think you think you handled that, but if not, Jane, we can pursue that. A uh, question about a minimum size order. Can they buy uh, one at a time, or does it have to be uh, so large of an, uh, an order? So, uh, again, uh, you can do one at a time. Uh, a lot of people will use some of our online distributors and retailers that are online to purchase those one-offs. Um, we're well known. In fact, our, our niche is for a lot of smaller projects. So even on the industrial side, uh, we do uh, are, are able to create uh, smaller lot runs. Uh, so that way, you know, you're not looking at a huge order every single time. And is there a minimum uh, dollar amount that someone needs to purchase? 
we've shipped things out for a uh, dollar fifty, I believe. <laughs> it's not something that we want a lot of. But <laughs> the point being, it, it is uh, okay. You know, depending, and again, just depending on the distributor that you're going through, uh, they sure. usually all have stock, and we stock over six thousand products here locally, so it is available to you uh, one off. Okay, I know we have a couple of international viewers on today. So you do ship internationally from your own lo the locations around the world. Is that right? We we make it a practice to try to inventory everything we have here in the in the U.S. Uh, we want to make it convenient and have the shortest lead times to, to meet your deadline. Um, we do at times we may have to ship if we are out of stock of something or the project's bigger. We may borrow from other regions. But basically, our process is we order from our parent company in Japan. They ship it. We inventory it here in the, in the United States. OK. I have several questions. Yeah, go ahead. So that, that answer was, or um, kind of leads into my first question. As far as the supply, we know that you know there's a lot of, well, there's been delayed time to receive products. Where are you guys at with that? So we, fortunately, uh, because our, our, our CEO and, and from his father, in fact, believed in having inventory, if you don't have it in stock, you can't sell it. That was kind of their mentality and it's carried over. Uh, we were able to minimize the impact that I think we all have seen with supplies from shipping delays to manufacturing delays uh, because we have global sources in Japan, in other parts of Asia, as far as uh, New Zealand and Spain, uh, we were able to, to uh, manage most of it or navigate through. Uh, we did have some delays, of course. I mean, uh, some of the bigger projects, depending, unfortunately, we don't stock, you know, 100,000 units of everything. Uh, but for the most part, I think we were able to meet most of the uh, customers' needs in terms of deadline. Great. You know, and the other great and thing then, that our company <clears throat> does. I live in Colorado. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. The other great thing that our company does that is if we are working on a project with you, we know that, you know, sometimes it's designed today, but the project's not going to be built in six months. You know, we'll work with you to make sure that uh, we can have that inventory you know, set aside for you. So we've done okay. that several times. So I live in Colorado. Is there a showroom here that you can go, or I, I could go to, or people could go to, to experience the Sugatsuni um, products? like in person? I don't know off the top of my head. We do, through our website, there's a where to buy section and uh, our marketing team did a great job of letting you know, uh, you know, if it's retail or wholesale, do we have a uh, showroom display or do we have a showroom tower that has some of our functional hardware? Uh, we can double check and we'll make sure we get back to you. Uh, we are working uh, on that particular in your state now. Um, and I know that I think our rep is, it was just there um, maybe about a month or so ago. If not today, we will have it soon. Got it. And my one last question is the um, closet handle, the kind of square one, it has like the, the on the outside edge, it's, it only goes halfway up. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Um, what it does is it gives you enough room to if the door is pocketed and it's flush with your frame that uh, you are able to reach your fingers in and you have some pulling area to release the so, door from the pocket. Right, I understand that concept. My question is, is the edge, um, is it sharp? Where if someone's hand slipped that it might cut or is there, is it more of a rounded edge? I think if you're clumsy like me, you might be able to find a way to cut your finger. Um, but it, we, it is rounded off uh, so that it doesn't, uh, you know, rip skin every it, time you. you it's use comfortable. It. I'm just thinking of older adults with very, you know, paper thin, fragile skin. They could, you know, accidentally just because of decreased strength or whatnot, accidentally break. I'm, I'm there, probably so going to get in trouble for saying for this, but I, if that is really the number one concern, uh, I wouldn't recommend specifying that specific product. Yeah. Not that it's sharp, I, like razor sharp, but um, it, it it's not round and smooth, and I wouldn't call it a safety feature. 
Yeah, got it. I think your products are great. I do recommend them. I was just uh, I was just curious about that, and it was a great presentation. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your questions, and I'm glad yeah. you mentioned that that handle. Uh, we are in the process of building uh, smaller displays like what we showed you, so there will be our sliding door handles uh, displays around showrooms throughout the U.S. That's in yeah. process right now. Other questions, comments, anyone? That was great. They, uh, I, I think you wowed them. I, I think you uh, presented a lot of good information. And I've worked with these folks for, for quite a long time, and I'm just glad we were able to put this presentation together to share it with everyone. If there's no other uh, questions or, or comments, and if there is, uh, reach out to me, reach out to, uh, to uh, Keith or to uh, Curtis. They have your contact information. I'll make sure you get their contact information in an email, and we'll go from there. And then I'll also send out a recording from this session. Anything else before we uh, close out the meeting? Just one more thing, and I know sure, you, right you, have, you have everybody's email. Um, but we're gonna, what we're going to do is we'll be sending you an, an e-blast. Please be on the lookout for that. It'll have a QR code on there that we'd like you to scan and go to our landing page. Um, what it's going to do is for your participation today, uh, we'll be able to give you a 10% rebate. When you, if you purchase any of the products, you just need to complete it on uh, the short form, uh, where you bought it, what item, and stuff like that, and, and we will we'll get that out to you. Okay, we are going to, I'm going to uh, stop the recording. Everybody, anyone can stay on that wants to, but again, want to uh, thank Sydney for uh, uh, being our, uh, our host uh, today and walking everyone through your products. Great, thank, thank you, you everybody. Thank you.